Libra. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 11th of December until the 17th of December 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Seven of Wands. You have to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So. Although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus. Now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Six of Swords. What do you want most right now is to make a regretful transition, as a likely result of the decisions you make. You know that in order to move forward, you must leave something important behind, and while you do this with some regret, you know that in the long term it is the best option for you. There are times when you will be forced to let go of something to which you have been attached, and the process of letting go is often quite challenging. However, the sadness of your loss will soon be replaced by greater clarity, bringing about a renewed acceptance of change. Do not be afraid to let go of whatever it is that is holding you in the present or the past. Instead look to your future and choose the best option that has the greatest long-term potential. There are going to be some hard decisions and some compromises that you will need to make but this is ultimately a rite of passage that will take you into a new phase of your life. 
you need to realize that you are now headed towards a much better position in life. You have endured, or are currently enduring, a difficult life transition but as a result, you will be more able to deal with what may come. Do not dwell on the past or what you have left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for changing your beliefs about yourself, moving away from whom you used to be and towards whom you really want to be. Sometimes the only way to solve life's problems is to leave them behind you and go somewhere new to start over. While it may feel as though you are giving up or being a coward, escape is often the only approach left when all others have failed. The important thing now is that you chart a new course that will lead to greater happiness and joy. The Six of Swords also shows the need to draw upon a state of mental clarity, logic and objectivity in order to examine where you have been and where you are going. This mental clarity will also serve to smooth the way ahead, and make the passage from negative to positive as peaceful as possible. You can use your intuition to guide you through easy situations and call upon your impartial and analytical nature when it is needed for a more complex decision. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the fool. You are afraid and may be acting in total disregard of the consequences of your actions and indeed acting their fool. You are trying to live in the moment rather than planning ahead. You are acting recklessly, wanting to break free of the usual routine in order to find yourself but doing it in a way that completely disregards others. The fool cautions you about potentially being taken advantage of or entering into a deal where you do not fully understand the consequences of your decisions. If you are offered an opportunity that seems too good to be true then it probably is. It is really important that you do almost a due diligence on the opportunities presented to you to ensure that you are making the right choice and not simply going with the most enticing offer at the time. Be prepared for the challenges that lie ahead so that you are not taken by surprise. Do your research and make sure you are well prepared for critical events such as job interviews, applications, presentations and meetings. You might not want to be placed in a work situation where you are completely out of your depth and have no clue what you are doing. You want to feel at least competent that you know what you need to do and you most certainly do not want to look like the fool or the newbie on the block. Even if you have not been in the workforce for a little while, you want to be respected for your experience to date and do not want to have to start at square one again. The nature of your relationship is highly changeable and uncertain, with spontaneity taken to a whole new level. You may be unsure about where the relationship is heading and whether you can safely depend on your partner. You may both be risk takers with little consideration for the long term consequences of your actions. This may bring with it excitement and suspense but also an underlying feeling of uncertainty and insecurity. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the nine of cups. You are feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. 
Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? The Five of Wands. You have tendency to avoid conflict wherever possible. You may find that any sort of tension or conflict makes you feel quite uneasy and you wish it would just go away. So, you deflect a lot of that energy and just ignore the problem, if there is one. The trouble, however, is that in doing this, you may just be pushing some of your own concerns to the side, without really dealing with them or being assertive about them. Some conflict can be good, particularly if it is constructive and teases out the underlying issues in a way that then generates a better solution. Consider whether always avoiding conflict is the best way to go, or if you are finding yourself just compromising on what is important to you. You are no longer up against so much competition and can just be, on more personal level, you have worked through your anger and hostility and you feel more secure in your relationships. You do not have to constantly prove yourself anymore. There is a realization that you do indeed need focus to achieve your goals. You have come through a period of scattered thought and random ideas only to find yourself in the same place you were when you started. You now acknowledge that if you are to progress your goals further, you must focus your attention on your key priorities and stay committed to your goal without considering even more possibilities or opportunities. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the two of pentacles. You may need to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, Yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments, etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes. The Two of Pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the Two of Pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. 
you must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The obstacles and blocks are lifted. Congratulations! All your personal growth work has disentangled you from the snares of fear-based blocks. All systems are go, and you are on your way. The key now is for you to stay centered in positive energy. Any doubts or worries must be immediately faced and dealt with, such as giving them to God for healing. Do not allow your mind to wander to worst case scenarios, lest you manifest those fears into reality. Remember that God gave you the spiritual power of creation, so use it to craft your masterpiece that will leave a helpful and inspiring legacy. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.